This video is all about showing how to set up VMware Fusion to be able to... I have three virtual machines here, two uh, Linux and a Windows, and the first objective is to have full connectivity among them to be able to ping each other from every, every machine to, to ping the other one. Second objective is to reach from every one of those uh, virtual machines into the Internet. So we can update, do downloads, whatever it is that we need. And this is good for setting up demo machines. The third objective is to be able, from the Mac OS, this is a kind of a tutorial for the Mac, which is also called the host operating system, to be able to do things like SSH, to get a, a remote terminal into particularly the Unix machines, to do FTP, to transfer files, configuration files, stuff that you want to put into your demo, and how to access HTTP servers on these machines. We're going to do it with the, with the curator machine here, uh, and, and being able to hit those machines from a browser that resides on the host uh, system, which is actually very useful for downloads and install and stuff like that. So let me show you what is it that we want to uh, do. So, as we saw in the diagram before, this is the Unix machine. And that's the address of it, 172.16.60.10. This is the Windows machine, and we see that that's the address of it, 203. And this is the other Red Hat machine, and we can see that the address is the 20, right? What we want to do are things like pinging uh, each other. So we can ping the 20 machine, actually that one. We see that we have connectivity to it. That we can ping the Windows machine, the 203, and we have connectivity to it. That we can ping the outside world, so we ping google.com and we got DNS resolution. We'll talk about how we get all that uh, pretty soon. But we also want to do things that are very useful when you do uh, things like, they say you want to put a file into the virtual machine or take it out of the virtual machine, some logs, for example, that you want to get out or a, or a patch that you want to put in, then you can use something like FileZilla and then as you see we are putting the address of the of that virtual machine and we can get into it. But we also want to do things like uh, going from a browser as we are doing here. Notice that the address again, we are going into that, into in this case is the console of Curator, which is a, a Tomcap server. Um, and then we can also do SSH into uh, that box. And actually what we see here is the typical error of uh, SSH when uh, you have, I play with different machines and you get this error. I'm going to show you right away how you fix that. So by issuing this SSH command, the keychain, we regenerate uh, the actual keys. What happened there? So I needed to put a space that I didn't put before. And then the, the keys are uh, uh, regenerated and then I can do the SSH into the box put the right password, and I'm in that box as well. So we're going to show how we configure and explain how the configuration goes to achieve uh, these goals. One thing I forgot to mention is that, you know, you can also get connectivity from the Windows machine to the other one, so I'm, that's the point I'm proving here. So let's go and explain how you get to configure this. So we're going to achieve that by configuring a VM where networking, VMware Fusion networking in NAT mode or what is also uh, referred as uh, share. We show all that configuration in a minute. So for that we're going to configure a virtual super switch router and you know component on the Mac that is called VMNet8 which is a NAT similar to what you have in your home router, 
that you know from one real IP uh, from the internet then it, you can get multiple networking so for example in my home router this is you know my address and you get multiples here well think of it as you have in this VMnet 8 a NAT service by which from one one physical uh, connection which in this case is 172.16.60.1 okay you get multiple uh, connections like we saw before 10 to 203 and 20 it also has DHCP capability so it can assign these addresses which I manually assign, and I'll show again how we, I do that. But you could also have done, have gotten those uh, dynamically with a DHCP server. It has also think of it as having a DNS service that allows you to, for example, find when you do ping google.com, it finds the IP address for Google and has a gateway which is which allows the the request that goes out on the internet to be able to find a router a virtual router that is that actually routes that uh, to the actual internet let us first see how we set the mac os uh, side of the house so we open uh, finder and we go uh, we do what is that uh, go to folder and we're going to go to this directory, Library Preferences, VMware, Fusion. And in it, we have the first section that we need to do is work on this networking file and check what's in there. Most likely, the only thing you will need to actually uh, change is the address of the, of the virtual adapter. That's the bridge that is going to work between uh, the different machines. 16 uh, 172.16.60.1 that's my uh, vmnet 8 uh, address so so that's how we set this particular address in here okay that we just saw there's also the gateway and the gateway that we are assigning is typically I mean, you can set whatever you want, but the, the, the most people out there select the, the, the subsequent number. So, so dot two is the definition of my gateway. That's the address that's going to be used to f locate. That's like my router on this network that will allow me to find uh, the ways out uh, for connectivity. And we set that one up when we go here to vmnet8 and we click on this file called nat.conf and here is as you see where the gateway address was defined by the way this file here promisc authorizes what is called promiscuous communication that doesn't require me to put a password to go from the host machine to the virtual machines uh, the next thing you need to do is to define the actual adapters for every one of the virtual machines. So you go here into that range and I have two network adapters but only one of them is active. The second one, uh, notice that doesn't have that checked so it's, it's not being used. The one that I'm using is ET0 which is that first one and uh, is in this mode share. That's the NAT nomenclature for VMware Fusion. And just in case that you want to make sure that you are selecting the right adapter, that's the MAC address that you see in there. And that's in, in 41. So if we do, I uh, if config on the MAC, we see that it shows the ET0 here, and you see the same MAC address that I just showed you before correspond to this. So this is how you know that ET0 corresponds to this adapter in case that you ever get confused with multiple adapters. You do the same thing on the Windows and the other um, uh, Unix machine. So you go here, there's only one adapter here on the Windows machine. And again, this is also shared with my Mac, which is NAT. 
Now you need to go into this directory. Let me actually print the working directory, which is etc sysconfig network script. And in here you have the definitions of all the adapters. So that file corresponds to if cfg et 0 corresponds as the configuration for uh, our first adapter. So if you are using uh, Ubuntu or any other flavor of, uh, of Linux, then these commands and location may vary a little bit, but I'm sure you can find those. I'm using Nano, my, my editor that I like the most, uh, to go and show you how I configure that. So the, the important parameters in here is I, I'm not using the HCP and setting that uh, IP address manually myself, and that's the command that I, you use for that. And I'm defining that the gateway that corresponds to the one I show you on the Mac OS, uh, I'm, I'm selecting that with this parameter set gateway, and I specify that value there. Now the final piece here in the Unix setup is to set the, the, the DNS, how I'm, I'm going to be looking out there. And you go to this directory, etc, and then um, let me show the resolve.com file. And this is, you know, basically how I'm un specifying that my DNS server is Google's 8.8.8.8. Okay. okay, you may not need to do this, but you may want to check uh, what's uh, in the in the system for you to be able to go out there. Let's review now the Windows part. In Windows, this setup is a lot easier because it can be done only on a single uh, pane. So you go to Control Panel, uh, Network and Internet. Uh, I believe it is here, yep, and then you go to the adapter that you have, in this case we only have one, and you go here into properties, and you need to specify IPv4, which is what we are using, and in here you sp notice that I'm not using the HCP, I'm specifying my own IP address, this is the 203 for the Windows system, and specify my gateway here, again, dot two, and I specify the DNS server that Google DNS uh, here as well.